we finally got the gremlin down for an out. I just filmed an unboxing video of the Walmart stuff that the lovely FedEx guy yesterday decided to just, oh, he's moving. All right, um, he decided to just not bring it. So I have basically found a way to find a rug in our house without like buying samples. It may not be as economic, but hold on. A lot of you guys recommended Ruggable to me. You said you loved it, it's great. You can wash the rug. I find that it's either 50-50. People either love, love Ruggable or hate it. Problem is they don't have samples. I suck at buying rugs. Rugs and curtains, two things I can't do. I've talked about that before. Um, so we have a lot of rugs that just get given away. Cause like, ugh, how do you return a rug? Okay, he's waking up. So anyways, I bought two by threes in three different sizes and I'm pretty sure that, yeah, this is only two of them. So I wanted to basically just try them out and then I can return them, I believe. We'll have to see. Um, to just, I can return them if I don't like them. And that way I, I know what two rugs that is. Okay. That way we're not having to buy huge rugs that we don't like. So first, I'm actually gonna put these on the ground so you guys will be able to see them a little bit better. First, her. Don't think I'm gonna love it with black because we're planning on getting, I don't know though, because the room's so big. So this, this is why we get these. So black furniture would be on top of this. Brown chairs. I'll show you guys the samples in a minute. So that's option number one. I already think I know which one I like, but I know that Sam's probably not gonna like it. This is option two, a little more neutral, very simple. Problem is this one still looks a little bit on the formal side, but it's a little more boho. You see her, she's beautiful. But the colors of this one are nice. Our rug, that was a big, like another reason why samples are so important specifically, because even what you guys are seeing on screen, that ain't what this looks like in freaking person. And that's my biggest frustration. Like I bought West Elm samples of some rugs that I love. Rug samples aren't even gonna be in until freaking November. And one of them came in, I was almost positive. I was like, this is it. This is gonna be the rug that I buy. I just wanna get a sample just to make sure. When I came in, it was like, it looked green on in person. Like it was a green rug and online, it did not even resemble green in the slightest. It looked like a beige color. So it's just so frustrating. Yeah, Sam's not gonna like this one. <laughs> I wanted, this is a wild card. I don't know, she's kind of fun. Big though, I don't think, I don't know. Sometimes Sam surprises me and he likes the wild fun things. And here's the thing, I know I can tone this down. I can neutralize this. I can, a bed is gonna be on the bulk of this. We would get it in a nine by 12. Like you wouldn't even see most of this, but this is awesome. And then I figured, you know, I can return the other two that I don't like, or I can always like use them in our entryway. Like there's a million places I can use these, especially if they're washable. So guys, I think I like this one. It's a little more formal than I expected, but still like the colors of it are absolutely stunning in person. Like it's so pretty. It's like a really creamy, like the darker parts are like a creamy chocolate color. Oh, I love, okay. That's good. So I'll show you guys the samples. I'm gonna go get Yep because I can hear him kind of stirring a little bit more. I'm gonna take it back to my mom's and then I'll show you guys the samples. I did get a sample in of our <laughs> actual um, Roman shades just in case we did have to go to a rug store. I could like have that with me and the rest of our Roman shades are being delivered next week. I'm so excited. Like a week from today, I will have the entire house fully shaded out and I'm so excited. He went back to sleep. So. Let's go look at these. Changed my mind completely when I walked in here because this room is so freaking bright. Okay. She's beautiful. Dark, but beautiful. And it's so hard, I feel like, oh, I ignore that. Like we're gonna have a black canopy bed and then chairs that are gonna be this color. And it looks, I cannot get this freaking color to look right on screen. It always looks like a, 
like way more yellow, I think, on screen than it is in person. But like it pulls some of these colors, which I really like. So this will be the chair color. I don't like this one anymore. I don't know, because again, like you put, I don't think Sam's gonna like it. It's so, it's sometimes fun to do things that are just so out of the box and like completely different than what you would normally do. And like, again, that's just such a formal looking rug and it's so blue compared to what we expected. So that works, but not my fave. And then this, ooh. So see, then I'm like, oh, that's a little too matchy matchy. Sam will help me. He'll be the deciding factor because I can tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna walk in and he's gonna take four seconds and he's gonna pick the favorite. Like that's exactly what he'll do. So honestly, I don't think we can go wrong with any of them. I like this one so much more now that I'm in here and it's so, that actually is really, it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful color. Hmm. Help me. One, two, three, pick your fave. And then I'll tell you guys later. <laughs> I'll let you. <laughs> I'll let you hear Sam's commentary on what he says he likes. I also don't think I'm gonna return any of these, honestly. They're kind of cool, funky. Might just put them by the front door, like put them by the garage door. So one, two, three, pick your fave, tell me. The light in here is a little crazy, but we're about to get Sam's opinion. <gasps> Hi, Bubba! Hi! Oh, you such a good cleaner! Look at you. Oh, it's a block me. I know which one I like. I have a favorite. I want to get your opinion on them. Remember, these are going to go under the bed. Okay. Okay, so not the middle one. Well, see, this one could go in one room as like our entryway, but it needs a pad under so it. It has a pad. There's pads this? on the. Yeah, there's pads on the. Okay. Uh, thing. That would probably be cool in mudroom as like an entryway rug. Okay, it's so like just a, to be clear, you like it, but not for in here. Can you stop hitting my mirror? <laughs> he is so room. proud of himself. So this is, the reason I like this one, it's like kind of hard. I feel like that one's a little too dark. It is, but look at how bright it is in here. And then you've got the... Yeah, but aren't you getting a black canopy frame? That's what I was thinking, but everyone voted on this on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Roman. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna tie the whole room together. My only thing is this one is so neutral that I like- I don't like that one. That one's just got way too much. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one. It's gonna show a lot of dough here. Get him to come lay on it once. Oh uh, yeah, I need to get him to come roll around. I think because the walls are bright white in here and it's super open, I think it's gonna look I think it's gonna you helping you close the curtain? look good. All right, we're putting these goofy goobers to bed soon. So it's been decided. We're gonna get the black one. And it's gonna be so cool, but we do need to have Doug come roll around on it. And I don't think I'm gonna return any of them because we actually, in our heads, like we have found places in our home for them, which I figured we would, so. This thing is so loud. And man, is it powerful, but it is loud. <laughs> <sighs> okay, what am I doing? I think I'm going to get my tripod. That's what I'm going to do. I gotta admit something to y'all. Oh, I hit you on the door. Uh, I have not been vlogging <laughs> because I've known I like have, like I don't have it in me to edit the vlogs. Oh, that was bright. I can't stop yawning because I have been addicted to suits like really addicted. It's been bad. Like I can't stop watching it. I'm on like the middle, I think maybe in the end of season three. And I just started it a couple weeks ago. Um, and I usually edit my vlogs at nighttime. So maybe. Um, also this past week has been really tough to focus. So I have mentioned before, um, that I was diagnosed with ADHD. And I do want to say, I, I believe that everyone is like truly entitled to their own opinion, um, which we're not entitled to is just spouting random things for the sake of saying them and spreading misinformation in my comment section. I will block you. ADHD is not a made up thing. It's real. I can't believe I have to say that, but it is it's not fake. Um, so yeah, don't even bother with that. 
But anyways, I was diagnosed with ADHD and it has been truly life-changing to be on medication for it. Um, my brain is very quiet on Adderall is what I'm on. It's the extended release. And I'm on like, I think I'm on the lowest dose. I'm gonna be one dose lower. I'm on a very low dose, but like, it just makes your brain so quiet. And I did not realize how loud everything was in my head until it was quiet. And I told Sam, one of the things that I love about it is it doesn't make me weird. It doesn't make me antsy. It doesn't make me fidgety. It doesn't like, I was afraid it was gonna make me like twitchy almost. And I said, it's almost as if I'm still doing the things that I was doing before, but of course I'm more focused. But one of my biggest problems was pre Adderall. I was being pulled in 75 different directions. And so there was this part of me that when I would make the choice on what I was going to do, let's use an example of work or personal. Personal being there's a load of laundry that needs to be done um, and I have a video to edit. If I chose to edit the video, there was always this thing in the back of my mind that was like, like you're just not doing enough, you're not helping out, why are you not doing more? You're not as efficient as you used to be. Um, you know, and it would just distract me almost. Like it wasn't, I would not categorize it as negative self-talk that was just an example, but like, it was just very distracting. Like I constantly felt like I had things that were pulling me in opposite directions, even when I was doing what I was doing. If I chose to do the laundry, it would be like, why are you not editing a video? You could be making more money doing something else. You're not doing enough here. And the Adderall just has made all of that quiet. So it's like when I make the decisions that I'm making, I just feel a lot better. And with that, this past week, it was my first time trying to fill it. It's a controlled substance. That controlled substances are difficult to get and I understand why. But I tried to fill the prescription when I was like three or four days out. It told me that I couldn't do it. It was too early. And this was after I had to jump through like 75 hoops because you can't, I guess, request a controlled substance. Like I threw CVS at least to my understanding when I got on the app, the way that it was telling me, basically I wasn't allowed to request it through the app. So I had to call, go through a 75 step process because it was trying, it was like a controlled substance. So it wanted me to do this and then talk to that and then go here. So finally I get it, the request in for it. It tells me it will. And then an hour or so later I check the app and it tells me that it's too early. So finally I go 24 hours before, which I guess is the sweet spot. All of you guys said, you usually can't get them until 24 hours before or the day that you run out. So I go to refill the prescription, same thing. Gotta jump through 75 hoops that are on fire and I get it and it tells me about two hours later, hey, we're out of stock. I had to order it, don't know what it's gonna be in. So I didn't have my Adderall this week and I definitely noticed a difference in how my work days went and I was just, I felt like I was being pulled in 75 different directions and I felt like, although at the end of the day, I'm still being pulled again in those different directions, I couldn't execute one thing fully to the end because I was just, there was this part of me in the back of my mind that was like, you're not doing enough and you gotta go do this and these seven things over here need to happen. And um, so it has been a rough, finally got it today. Um, I did not realize another thing is that you, you go to your doctor about it. Um, a lot of pharmacies cannot tell you depending on what kind of, I guess, drug it is. Maybe it's for everything. I don't know. They're not allowed to tell you what they do have in stock. So that was one thing that a, a very kind lady explained at CVS. She said, it's our policy not to tell you what we have in stock for fear of being robbed, which again is so sad. And that was created because they probably were at some point in time or had enough robberies from people who wanted the medication. And so that policy was like put in place now, they can't you know, answer that question. Um, so I just kind of had to take a shot in the dark and I called Costco and I was like, hey, if I have this prescription transferred, I was just trying to put feelers out for their policy. I was like, if I have this prescription transferred, can you guys fill it? She was like, we're not allowed to tell you. Um, and you also can't transfer that because it's a control. She said it's like a control two or something. And she goes, um, she kind of worked around it. She said, but if you have your doctor send it to us, then, you know, we, we can get it filled. And so I kind of felt like she was telling me in a way, like she couldn't tell me, but she could. And I ended up calling her back about 30 minutes later. And I was like, Hey, so my doctor got it sent. I just wanted to know if you had an estimated 
like how long, like I don't know how long Costco takes. Is it a day, is it four, what's the deal? She was like, we have it filled. <laughs> I was like, it's been 30 minutes. Um, and then I got there and realized why, because they had like two pharmacists. I think they had like four people working in the pharmacy. They had two people at the counters, like checking people out. So Costco pharmacy, it is own it. And the price without insurance was $70 cheaper than CVS. My insurance, um, thankfully covers a ton of it. So it's it, out of pocket for me is not a ton, but, um, CVS is like out of pocket price is very expensive and Costco's is like dirt cheap already. So anyways, it's been a rough week, but I got my medication and <laughs> I did want to tell you guys, it has been absolutely life changing to be on that. Um, and even now this week going back to working without it, I realized like it is definitely something that I need. And I, I feel like had I had this in college and high school, I would have been a much different student, much different student. Um, so it's all good now. I'm not gonna blame the uh, lack of vlogging and, and edited vlogs on that though, cause I'm addicted to suits. So let's go ahead and get ready for the shower. I did want to tell y'all, so Philosophy sent me this perfume, Radiant Grace. Oh my God, it smells so expensive. I suck at explaining like scents. It literally smells like I live in a penthouse and make millions and drive a, a very, very expensive car. I can't even, it's, it is heavenly and it's not super strong, but ooh. Um, so. No, I don't. I really don't. I'm just gonna wear it off tomorrow. We are possibly going apple picking tomorrow. Um, I say possibly because we might get rain. So we'll see. All right, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I, hmm, I bought this during the Nordstrom sale. This is 200 grams. During the Nordstrom sale, I believe this is on sale for $90. And I thought to myself, cool, I'm gonna get six months out of that at least. Because I can usually get like the smaller tubs they have. I don't, I don't have another one because I don't need another one. Um, the little smaller tubs they have, I usually am like can get, I don't know, three months out. Um, yeah, I started this on the 9th of August. You see that? So this side over here, all that that like looks like it's missing already, that actually was when it came in, it had been like kind of sitting sideways like this and then I brought it inside and it hardened. So there's actually a lot of product like up on this side. If I get, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bet it'll be probably nine months to a year. This is incredible. It is just so good. So um, I use that at night and then I have, I don't think you guys can see it. I've got some dry skin patches from my Tret. that is just, Um, we're gonna take that off and then get in the shower. And I'm probably gonna shave my legs tonight because I'm probably gonna end up wearing shorts tomorrow. 92 and raining, it's like wear rain boots and a postage sit down. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on with my lovely hairdo and then I'm gonna get in the shower. Okay, I've got dry shampoo in this hair. I had to exfoliate tonight. My skin hurts. Um, but I'm not going to do my nails. I did want to show you guys something though, and you cannot judge me. I think I showed you a little bit about nail polish in the past couple vlogs. Um, I got to get this dry shampoo rubbed in. But, <clears throat> so I told y'all that I had been loving D&D &D color. And it's true. It's so pretty. And it lasts. Um, so... One of the keys I've told you guys is like, I found that if you use one coat of color of the actual gel color, it doesn't really matter what top coat or base coat you use. Um, if you use just one coat of a name brand color, not two coats because then that makes it super thick and it's name brand, it will last. So I bought an entire set because I'm so obsessed and it came with regular polish too. 
So I have all of these beautiful colors and I feel like this set is just like, it's everything you could need. It's right up my alley. It's this one. So I did buy these other two cause I do like this one's a little more dark and moody. Um, but I just have like this these two like sheets I don't actually have these nail colors, but I'm slowly gonna buy some of my favorites of these because like I will never wear orange nail polish I'll never wear Like red sparkles Maybe during the holidays, but like not enough to buy a full set I'll never wear yellow sparkles like silver So I got this because it's still nice to have this same thing like these are pretty nudes but all of these colors here that I have in gel and regular. It's this entire set. Do you see that? I feel like the lighting in here is a little crazy, but let me show you a close up here. I've always loved nail polish. It has always been my favorite thing of life. Like I just, it makes me so happy. Here we go, made it a little brighter. And so I got all of these and like this blue is super fun. I've been doing red and i'll do red until the end of the year i'll probably do like some of these in the new year like that blue is super fun i love these two colors i always like a grayish color um not crazy about this yellow or this orange but like pretty much all the other ones i really like it's got some pretty nudes in here so anyway cherry pie is gonna be my 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 fall color probably the next one i do um but I just am obsessed, so I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> it's a little excessive, I'm aware, but I really feel like this is just every color that I could want. And as if I'm doing my nails myself, it's like, it just makes sense. These two right here, those are super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go watch suits. And I guess we're gonna call it for this vlog. We're gonna see you tomorrow if we get to actually go to the apple orchard. But otherwise, thank y'all for watching. Ugh.